You're watching It's Only Food. I'm Chef John Polit, and today we are making tuna melts. Don't go away. Yep, today we're going to be making tuna melts. We're going to be making them in a little bit different way. They're going to have a little bit of heat to them with some pepperoncini peppers. And we're not doing it with the traditional mayonnaise and relish. We're going to actually be doing some Thousand Island dressing. So we are here in Edgewood Senior Living's Kitchen. Sorry about the noise and the ambient noise in the background. I've got my microphone turned on up there. Hopefully that is working out. But let's get over here in the kitchen and see what our ingredients are. We have got some, of course, American cheese, Thousand Island dressing, uh, about a tablespoon of dill, celery seed, some of that Chef Polite's all-purpose seasoning, three pepperoncinis, a green pepper half, some about a quarter of a lemon, a half an onion, and our coarse tuna, and our bread. So let's get these mixed up and see what it looks like. All right, I'm gonna take the half onion, half of the pepper, the three pepperoncinis, and the lemon whole with peel and everything. And just throw it right in the old mixer. Sorry, not the mixer, but the food processor. And if you don't have a food processor at home, just make sure you dice it up real fine. And if you want to, leave the lemon has to peel off. But this is making a nice little inside for our dressing. Alright, that's going to be what we're going to put in our tuna salad. Alright, we got our tuna. This is about two and a half pounds of tuna as I am making it for a large crowd. So I will adjust the recipe in the description box below. But this is all the stuff that we mixed up. This is all the stuff we mixed up, that uh, onion and pepper and pepperoncinis. And then we're going to add that right into there. The lemon is in there too. And we're going to add the dill. It's about a tablespoon. And then we're going to add the celery seed. About a tablespoon. And then of course, Chef John's wonderful all-purpose seasoning. Every cupboard needs this. And I'm also going to add about a tablespoon into there. This is available on my website at www.itsonlyfood.biz. Alright, and we're going to take, I have this all pre-measured out. This is about two cups of Thousand Island. I'm just going to add that in there. And then we're just going to mix it up. There's our tuna salad. We're going to start putting together our tuna melt now. All right, two pieces of bread. Just going to put them right on the grill. Four pieces of cheese. You can use whatever cheese you want. I am using American cheese. Four of those. This could always be done in a pan at home too. You don't have to do it on a grill. Do it right in a pan. Just going to take the tuna salad that we made, we're going to put it right on the grill to get it hot. You can put as much or as little as you want on your sandwich. It's your sandwich, do what you want. So as that cheese melts, we'll just put the tuna right on there. And it's going to make a mess. The gooier it is, the better it is. See your bread is grilled and dark. Let's get it on a plate. 
Now when you cut this, you want to use a serrated edge knife and cut through it, let the knife do the work. You don't want to take it and smash it right through there, or you're not going to have a nice clean cut through the sandwich. It is a lot of gooiness and a lot of messiness, but it's an awesome sandwich. So make sure you use a serrated edge knife and do it right. All right, well this is the part of the show where I take a lot of pictures of it and put them on the timeline for our social media. Then I put nice music underneath of that. And you guys just sit back and enjoy. Next time on It's Only Food. Bye-bye.